Hey, today I'm so excited to introduce to you the one and only Dr. Samuel Ukundeo. Is that the right way to say your last name, bro? Yes, I Ukundeo. Right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Absolutely, you yeah. try. You are a unique masterpiece of God. And I'll tell you God. why, Praise because God. you are living in your purpose and you're helping other people discover theirs. And so, so many people are gonna be inspired in the next few moments as we chat, because I believe that you have so much purpose in you. It's just overflowing, man. <laughs> we all do. Seriously, bro. Like, I, I, I honestly think that um, uh, you even as mm. being my mentor have, have really taken me to another level in a lot of my decisions. No, and no. So let's, let's get into it. Like, yeah. What is purpose to you? Purpose is the reason yeah. behind our creation. Purpose is the essence of yeah. our being. Yeah. It's actually what gives our lives meaning. Mm -hmm. In other words, if we're living without purpose, yeah. Our life does not have meaning. Come on. The time we're spending doesn't have meaning. I like to define life as purpose over time. Mm. That means every one of us have got a set time in life. And that means if we're not living according to the common numerator that everyone is meant to be living by, which is purpose, then we're wasting time. Wow. And life in itself has no meaning. Wow, wow. And I feel there's a lot of people today living mm. without purpose. Mm. So many. And I think you can be at any stage of life and discover purpose. Yes, absolutely. And it's not too late. Right? Not too late, not too early. Right, awesome. So in terms of, you know, the how, how living your life at an age, you know, where you were studying and mm. you probably recently got married and yeah. now you have kids mm. uh, and, and all the activities of everyday life, how did you stumble upon your purpose? Uh, I like to remove the word stumble uh, mm. because many people uh, w w will be thinking that one day they would stumble mm. <laughs> on their purpose. No, go after it. Wow. Yeah, intentionally go after it. So, you know, like I was saying before, this actually pro this program actually started. Yeah. I tried a lot of things. Yeah. And many of us would try a lot of things in exchange for life, you know, mm -hmm. uh, survival. Mm -hmm. uh, we just want to survive. We mm -hmm. want to leave like everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, ha ride the same car like everybody else, have the same hours like everyone else. I was one of them, you know, to be honest. Wow. Uh, and you could be watching this and that's you, all right? You're just trying to survive. You're trying mm -hmm. to leave like everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, but the truth is, you must intentionally go after your purpose. Mm -hmm. Because every other thing else that you're doing outside of your purpose is a waste of your time. Yeah. I, I know, I know some experiences would help you later on on your purpose, but you would rather be chasing your purpose than that. Yeah. So f for me in, in particular, you know, seeing all of these reasons to survive and mm -hmm. live like everyone else, there came a point in my life where I, I decided life must just be more than this. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching this as well, there's got to be more to your life than trying to just live from paycheck to paycheck. There's got to be, there's, that, there's actually more to your Come life on. than actually trying to ride the car like everybody else or, wow. or trying to buy the house like everyone, like we all know in Auckland. <laughs> there's more to your life than that. And you must come to a point in your life where you'd say, hey, I need to find that more. Wow. And that more is purpose, where wow. you intentionally go after it. And, and that was what happened to me. And, and I started to think, okay, there's, there's got to be more than this. And God spoke to me. And, and that's one of the ways of finding your purpose. God spoke to me and said, help people discover their purpose. So that was the day you found your purpose? Yes. Your purpose is to help other people. Other people find their purpose. And I've since never strayed away from that. And I realized the more I live in that, wow. my life has more meaning. Wow. I feel more fulfilled. I feel more significant. Even the people around me notice it. Wow. <laughs> because once you're living in your purpose, people will see that you are doing what you were created to do. It's like an ion ironing. You know that this is what it's created wow. to do. Wow. It's like a car that you see on the road. So this is what it's so But if you see a car actually mm. grazing the grass, mm. <laughs> you would Come know on. this is not what this guy is meant mm. to be doing. Same thing. Once you begin to function in the place of your purpose, everyone will know. The whole world will know. The whole world will know. I think I think there's a lot of distraction in, in the world that we live in mm. today. There's a lot of noise. Ooh, there's a lot of yeah. things that we can actually indulge in and, and start doing. Um, how do you find that niche? Because I think you, you, one of the things you told me, you said, mm. Josh, when they think about you, they should think about one thing. Yes, sir. Can you elaborate on that for me? Oh, my goodness. Uh, big, big, uh, what is one of the things built into every creation yeah. is function. Wow. There, there's something that you are meant to be functioning wow. in. You know, the, you, you're meant to be doing something mm. so you can fulfill your purpose. Mm. That means that all of us have been given a gift, a power, one energy, one passion. Wow. That if you begin to do it, yeah and do it and refine it and wow. do it so well, there would come a time that the problem that that need addresses 
people start to think about that problem and think you wow. as the solution. Or people start to think about the solution to that problem and think you wow. as well. Or think people think about you and think about the problem. Wow. <laughs> the same way you think Coca-Cola and you think thirst. And, and, and many of us are not living our best lives mm. simply because we haven't really found what it is that we were born to do. Wow, wow. And wow. that's why many people are thinking about us, they're not thinking about anything. Wow. And that is a major problem. Some people don't know it's a problem. It is a problem. When people think about you and they can't think of anything, or they think about you, they think gossip. Come on. <laughs> that's a major problem. Wait, wait. <laughs> they had better be thinking about you and thinking something valuable. Thinking of a solution to a problem, thinking of you meeting a need, thinking of your life actually solving a problem. Wow. And all of our lives solve a So little. purpose is solving a problem. Absolutely. There is a problem in the world right now. That I can solve. Yes. That you can solve. Yes. That other people can yes, solve. Yes, that you can solve. You watching <laughs> us right now, that you can solve. Wow. And only you can solve. Okay, so <laughs> let's, 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 let's get deeper. Let, let's talk about how do I find that problem? Because mm. I think a lot of people don't know what problem to solve. Mm. Um, is there any like a is there a formula? Is there an equation? Is there like a step by step process? Can you elaborate? The real key is not to find the problem. The real key is to find a solution in you first. Mm. <laughs> when you find the solution in you, you refine the solution in you, you refine the value of you, of your gift, the problems will come looking for you. Wow. It's, it's, it's a kind of like a, Preach, <laughs> it's a kind of a weird way of, of, of you know, uh, of, of, of putting this. It's like, it's like a reverse psychology, right? You find the solution in you, problems will run after you. Wow. <laughs> uh, this could probably be the best thing about problems, right? Wow. <laughs> when problems run after you. Wow. Because when you're a solution, yeah. You would attract problems. Very good. Very good. <laughs> right? Yep. People would come to you with their problems. Come on. Uh, like for instance, for me, every single day I get at least one DM in, on Instagram, one message on Facebook, one email, somebody saying, I'm lost. I have no idea what to do with my life. Wow. I, you know, my job is tiring. My life is this, my something. Because to the glory of God, one has made himself so valuable. You, people start to see that you are a problem solver. Mm. And the problems in their life become so, so glaring. Mm. And you become so glaring as a solution provider, they connect to you, wow. always. So, look for the solution in you. Yeah. And the problems that you're born to solve will find you. Well, you're consistently solving a problem. And so people have been conditioned to think about you mm. as the person who can, can, can help me find my purpose yes. to some extent. What if you are gifted in many things? Mm. Uh, you are gifted to solve many problems. What are some things that you can do? Because it's very hard. Like, for me, I find it very hard to mm. get mm. down to my niche because I'm like, I'm <laughs> like, man, if I do this, that means I have to stop doing everything else. <laughs> but I'm so good at everything else as mm. well. You know mm. what, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You're a web designer, yeah. you're a lecturer, and you're a purpose <laughs> preacher. So there are many problems that you're mm. currently solving. Tell me, what does a person do when they when, when they're very good at solving multiple problems. Mm, I, I remember writing an article not long ago. Uh, mm. If you're watching this and you're connected to me on Instagram or something like that, go find that. You article. do need to follow uh, people. <laughs> and I said in that article, I said that your problem is that you're multi-talented. Mm. And multi-talent, you know, if you're multi-talented, shouldn't be a problem realistically but oftentimes it is a problem mm. because when you focus on too many things you lose focus wow you know wow. Uh, let me say that again when you're focused on wow. too many things wow. you will lose focus on the real deal on the real mm. deal the, the the main transaction of our lives isn't really about all the many things we can do mm. it's about the one thing that we should be doing wow. that we're born to do now, an ipad can do so many things Mm. Right, but we must focus on the exact thing, on the exact reason why it's created, for it to be really be valuable. Mm. Right, if you take this iPad now and you start to use it to chop tomatoes, mm. <laughs> while it would look like it can chop tomatoes, but it's a, an abuse yeah. of, of the iPad itself. Yeah. So the point I'm trying to make is, you need to find that one thing that significantly gives your life the testimonials that you're changing other people's lives. Wow. Yes, that one thing that significantly stands you out. Wow. That one thing that makes you unique, that one thing that makes you a life so uh, a problem solver, uh, you know, a, a life transforming person, and you will discover that as you focus, focus, mm. focus is the right word. Focus is one of the Come keys on. to fulfilling purpose. Focus wow. and consistency. As you focus and you consistently do that thing, you mm. become a person of value. Wow. See, everything in life that God created came with a gift. 
But the responsibility of turning that gift into value is left with us. Wow. It's not the responsibility of God Ooh. to translate your gift to value. It is your responsibility to translate that gift to value. And the only two key instruments is focus and consistency. You wow. must continue. The, the, the power of consistency and the power of focus is when you see the, the sunlight and you concentrate the sunlight onto some steel or metal or something like that, and you concentrate with a magnifying glass and you put it on, you discover that that steel will start to melt wow. because you focused the power. Wow. Many of us have power in our purpose, spread abroad like spread on graphic design, spread on web development, spread on sound and music and blah, blah. And we're wondering why the steel in our lives is not melted. Mm. Because we haven't really found our magnifying glass to concentrate on one thing. Wow. One thing at a time. One, one thing, thing at a time. So if you're watching this, you need to prioritize your gifts mm. and have a look. And, and this, the, this is the most practical way I do this with people. Write down all the things you do. Come on. Let's Write it down it. one like by it. one. So name them. One, one, number one, I'm a, I sing. Yeah. Number two, I draw. Write. <laughs> number three, I paint. And number four, and write down all those things. And then begin to have a look. So from number one, which one of the, you know, have a look. Which one of this do you do so well? Wow. You do really well, passionately. That if they don't pay you, you're still going to do it and you'll be happy. And you'll discover that of all of that, you probably only be left with five or three. Wow. And then you, so you, you, you put a cross on the ones that, um, you know, are not, doesn't answer that question. And leave the ones that answer that question on there. Mm -hmm. And then ask yourself again, mm -hmm. which one of this, mm -hmm. that if I'm really tired, like really, really worn out, I'm about to sleep and they call me to do it, and I'll still not even feel any more tired. The moment I start to do it, I feel so energized and pumped. Wow. Wow. You'll discover you'll be left with about two or three. Whew. And then ask yourself one last question and say, which one of this can I actually start a business with that appears that people will pay me in the long run? Oh my if God. I focus on it, if I focus on it, and I would right now start for free and start doing it and do it every day and I'll be able to do it every day and I'll have the, the, you know, a, a massive amount of energy doing it. Wow. You discover that you would probably be left with just one or two. Wow. And those are the ones to focus on. Wow. Those are the ones to focus on. And what do I mean by focus? Every single day. Learn something about that. Mm. In fact, one of the proof, one of the proof that you mm. are functioning in your purpose and you found your gift is that no one will force you to learn about that thing. Ooh, that's so good. It's a major proof. If, if if you're born to sing, yeah. right? No one will force you to listen to other people singing or teaching about singing. Wow. No one will force you to learn an instrument. No one, no one. It will just come naturally. Wow. You would naturally want to know more. You wow. naturally want to learn more. You naturally want to be the best. That's another point. Wow. You want to be excellent at it. Wow. So if, if, if you have that list, and one of them isn't one of the things you want to grow in, you, you want to keep learning, you want to be the best at, then it's not it. Wow. Because when you find it, you want to be the best at it. You want to yep. right. be valuable at come it. On. You want to be significant at mm. it. And that is it. And once you locate that one thing, do something every single day. And I always give people this formula. At least one hour, spend one hour every day learning that thing. Wow. Refining it. It's refining. Can, it's you, can you tell me that, 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 that uh, formula that you have? Oh, yeah. Years if you spend one hour per day yep. learning more on that area of your life, that gift that in niche. your life, yep. that niche, that niche, that's the word, niche. Niche is the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, because you could be doing all this singing, but yeah. you're not born to sing yeah. reggae at the yeah. same time single. Yeah. Come on. Find your niche yeah. and focus on the niche. And if you spend one hour a day learning something, you will discover that in one year, you become an expert at that thing. Wow. I promise you. In just one hour a day. In three years, you will become a national phenomenon. Whatever country you live in, I don't care. Come on. <laughs> you will become wow. a national phenomenon. Wow. Like in that country, people will start to call you from all over the place. Wow. Looking for you to do what you do. Wow. And then in five to seven years, hear this, in five to seven years, you will become an international global phenomenon in that <laughs> thing. Even if it is frying chicken. Wow. Hear this. Even if it is frying chicken and it's your gift, you're born to do it, you're gifted at it, I promise you in the next five to seven years, you will fry chicken to Europe. Wow. <laughs> you will be called to fry chicken in Asia. Wow. Like literally. That is the real key to but but, but why are people not doing this? Why? People will say, oh, five to seven years is such a long time. Yeah, it is, time. it is. It's I consistency, mean, focus. I mean, who has that time to mm. be spending five to seven years learning how to fry chicken and, and fry? <sighs> then they give up. 
Yeah. But guess what? Five to seven years will go and pass, and these people are still where they are. Ooh. <laughs> and, and this is why many people yeah. are still where they are. Yeah, absolutely. 17 years would go. Mm. They turn 50, they turn 60, they turn 70, and they still keep thinking five to seven years is a long time. Wow. And that's why wow. we have many mediocre. Bro, that's so good. Oh my goodness. So, from everything you've said, there's a gift inside of me mm. that solves a problem, yes. which equates to my purpose being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Now, gift, passion, value, mm. how do they all relate to final, you know, to end this conversation? How do you, f that, that, to be gifted mm. in that specific thing, you need to focus, yes. you need to be consistent. Yes, with, yes, right? yes. What do you do to actually develop that consistency? And what do you do to actually grow in that gift? Number one. What do you do? You preach. What do you yes. do to keep becoming a better preacher? You, you must keep learning. Yeah. You must keep learning. Yeah. It's important. You learn like you breathe. Mm. You must keep learning. Don't go a day without at least listening to at least one hour of content on that niche. Mm. Or, or watching something on, a, on YouTube or, or a video program or something like that. And every single day, invest wow. in that area. Literally, go for seminars, go for workshops. And, and these days, you don't even have to pay for them. There are many free ones YouTube. going around. <laughs> yeah, just, or YouTube, you know. Yeah. Just, and you will discover that as you feed yourself, you feel more powerful, you feel more mm -hmm. valuable. And as you feel more valuable, other people will start to see that value in you as well. Mm -hmm. And number three, find a mentor. Find someone who can push you. Find someone who, you know, all of us. Keep your confidence. Yes, all of us. It's like we're at the, you know, edge of the cliff of our lives, right? But we need someone to push us so we can find our soul. We need someone who's going to push us off that cliff so we can soar and fly. Yeah. But, but, but oftentimes, without someone who pushes you off, you're like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you know, how do I take this next step? Where else are you there? You're at the cliff. Just push. <laughs> but you need a mentor, someone that would hold you accountable, mm -hmm. someone who's asking you what are you doing, someone who's who's feeding you and challenging, and challenging you. you to be better. Yeah. You know, someone that is a role model. Uh, you know, and, and and number four, you need to make sure you find a place where you're serving that gift regularly. Mm -hmm. So if you're social media, be serving the gift. If it's your church, serve the gift. If it's your community, serve the gift. Yeah. Because you never get better until you're serving the gift. Mm -hmm. Yes, Come yes, on. nothing gets better without you getting feedback and testimonials. Mm. Right, right, sometimes you do it and you do it really poorly and people will say, oh, not so good. Oh, I mean, I spoke, you would not believe this. I have spoken to an audience before where it felt like I was like, I was like a smoke in the air. I just disappeared. Wow. <laughs> it wow. didn't work out. Yeah. Um, there was this conference that happened in Auckland not long yeah. ago and I was invited to volunteer and, 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 and be an MC. And for some weird reason that day People I came on stage, no one responded. It was one of the toughest times on, on stage in my life. I, I literally went out of this, that stage feeling like a failure. So wow. the point I'm trying to make is, but but of course I'm not a failure. The, the, the point I'm trying to make is there are times where you will serve that gift and it would look like, wow, this isn't me. Yeah. Don't give up. Yeah. Keep on at it. Keep yeah. at it. That's yeah. why you need a mentor. Someone who will call you back and say, hey, hey no, 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 no. That was just once. Yeah. Yeah. And there's still plenty more to come. Yeah. And, and, and you've yeah. just got to pick yourself back up again and do it again and do it again. And this is that is actually literally what produces value. That's one of the principles of value. The more you serve it consistently. And and you're you're learning, so you're feeding and you're serving. You're wow. feeding and you're serving. You're feeding, you're serving. Wow. And you're doing it consistently. Wow. Every single day. Every single wow. day. Every single day. We remember one hour per day. And you're doing it every single day. One year you'll be at three years, national phenomenon. Five to seven years, global phenomenon. Wow. It's impossible for you not to be. If you're watching this and wow. you take this to heart and you literally practice this, listen, if it's impossible for you not to work. So get your yeah. journals, get your diary, get your calendars and, and, and write every single day what you're going to do for you to begin to let that purpose serve other people, solve people's problems. And you'll be amazed at where you get in the next five to seven years. I want to talk about passion. You, okay. you talk about passion. Listen, not every passion is your gift. That's right. I love football. Mm. But you're not a football. 
but I wasn't born to, to play football. If I tried to compete with Messi, I would die. <laughs> All right. There are some people who are natural. Some people are naturally gifted to fry chicken, just to fry chicken. Some people are naturally gifted to bake cakes. Yeah, come on. If you try to bake like them, you would just produce some stupid yeah. puddings. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Focus on what it is you've been born to do. Yeah. So all of us have lots of passions, mm. right? But there are some that are not our gifts. Wow. Find the one that is your gift. And like I've, I've given us proofs, mm. you know, to know that it's your gift, number one, no one will force you to learn about it. Yeah. Number two, you want to be excellent at it. You want to be world class at it. Mm. You know, so if you don't want to be a world class footballer, yeah. No, no point. Or you feel like you don't have what it takes to be a world class footballer, then you, you, you were not born to be. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ask Mercy. These guys practice for hours and hours throughout the night without anybody's influence. Wow. I heard about Ronaldo. This guy eats because of his fitness. He wow. drinks because of his fitness. <laughs> like what he watches on yeah. TV is related to his football. Wow. That's passion, That's man. Crazy. And there are other people who just do nonsense. <laughs> Even though they are paid to do it, but you discover they're the ones that get frustrated wow. in life and get depressed. And people must also say something about the value that you bring. Testimonials, right? Yes. That's, That's how you know you're in your gift. Yeah, like, oh, bro, you just changed my life. Oh, bro, you just helped me. Bro, I was lost and, and just talking to you or, or just watching you do what your stuff. Oh, this chicken, my goodness. So are you saying right now, <laughs> if you're doing something yeah. and people are not saying anything um, about it or stop it or what do you, are you is that what you mean <laughs> you need to review it <laughs> if, to review. if people are not getting testimonials about that thing you're doing number one is either you have not refined the gift enough right but um, all our gifts are given to us crude all our gifts are given to us crude but we must refine it. We must refine it. Yeah. We must refine the gift. That's when it turns to value. Mm. Nobody wants to buy crude gold. Ooh. In fact, they won't even recognize it. Come on. You understand what I'm trying yeah. to say? But it yeah. is when we refine the gold. Wow. And the gold goes through fire and wow. goes through a lot of learning. Come on. And goes through a lot of, uh, you know, uh, criticisms and all of that. that. That is when the gold refines. Wow. And people then recognize the gold. And then they give it a name. They call it 22 carats, 28 carats, wow. 34 carats, 55 carats. The more you refine it, the carat grows goes up and the value goes up as well that's why today they would hire you for free tomorrow they, they, they dare not hire you for wow. free that is it that wow. is it it's as you refine your gift that's you become more valuable wow hey man i think this is a lot of content to take in and Glory if i was God. you i would repeat this uh this podcast video Again, I would share it um, mm. with friends and families because there's a lot of people that need to hear this. Absolutely. There's a lot of people that need to be inspired mm -hmm. once again. And um, yeah, man, thank you so much for having this conversation. Thanks it for having me. It means a lot. I think we're going to have you back on again. Looking we're forward. We're going to talk about personal branding. Yes. I think people need to yes. know how to brand themselves mm -hmm. because branding is so critical today. Absolutely. And it's it's pretty much give how you condition people's minds mm -hmm. to think about it. I, call, I like to call it hypnotizing people. That's a pretty dangerous <laughs> word. You're on, my, you're, on the, you're on the site, bro. That's a pretty dangerous word. Hypnotizing people. <laughs> right. No, we, we have to get into that in, mm. that in our next episode and we'll talk about it later, man. Awesome. Hey, so thank you, people. We'll see you again.